Emmys, of course. You know, it's the dream of so many television actors to get up on that stage and accept a primetime Emmy. And until an unknown actor named Larry Thomas said the words, no soup for you on Seinfeld, that's all it was, a dream. Well, now Seinfeld soup Nazi is sipping from the ladle of success with an Emmy Award nomination for guest actor to prove it. And Day and Date got a taste of life with Larry. If I win, oh, I'll probably pass out. You know what they call him? Soup Nazi. <laughs> Larry Thomas stirred up a lot of attention when he was cast as Seinfeld's infamous soup Nazi, having just the right ingredients to pepper the role that was said to be modeled after the militant-like soup chef at New York's famed Soup Kitchen. I auditioned and Jerry laughed a lot, which was great. You know, the funniest guy in the business is laughing at you when you're going, I'm flying, I'm flying. And before he knew it, he was cooking. This bail bondsman by trade got the big break he'd been waiting 10 years for when he got to steal the spotlight on the set of Seinfeld. You know what? Does, has anyone ever told you you look exactly like Al Pacino? You know, son of a woman. hoo hoo <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know something? No soup for you! Come back. One year. Next. Everybody is so relaxed on that set. At one point when I yelled, no soup for you at Julia Louis-Dreyfus, she just stopped and she went, you're so funny. And that made me feel really good, you know. But making him feel even better is the spice his life has taken on since making his Seinfeld debut. Everything's changed a lot. Now I have a much busier audition schedule than I used to. People actually ask me for my autograph, which is weird. And, and I had no idea what to write, you know? Like, I've never given an autograph before. And he's never nabbed an Emmy nomination before either. When the Emmy nomination came in, it was like, Wow, this thing is just going, going on and on. And, um, I mean, the people in my category. I mean, you're talking about my own particular idols. You know, Tim Conrad, who if, in my generation didn't even didn't learn to do comedy from watching Tim Conway. You know, and uh, Mandy Patinkin has just been my role model ever since I saw him in Evita when I was in college theater. And just to be in the same category with them is just thrilling. Well, we caught up with the Emmy nominee at his home in Los Angeles as he searched through the bevy of black ties he's been saving for this occasion. Makes you feel like Cary Grant, you know? Men just don't wear tuxedos anymore. And when Thomas finally found the perfect fit, he asked us to join his family for what we've all been waiting for. Soup. Chili, actually. Okay, well, it's not quite Malagatani, but then again, he's not really the soup Nazi. I'm much nicer than he is. No soup for you. Chili. <laughs> He'll probably be saying that line for the rest of his life. No soup for you. Well, whether he gets the Emmy gold or not, Thomas is a top contender for a lead role in Keanu Reeves' next movie. And, of course, we all wish Larry Thomas the best of luck this weekend. And we're going to let you know how he did when we give you an all-access pass to the Emmys coming up Monday.